Hi, this is Christopher with zebrasapps.com. This is a short preview of our new LMS object, upcoming in the professional subscription of Zebra Zaps. Let's take a look at what we'll be uh, pushing out to our LMS. This interaction is a what we call a scene explorer interaction, uh, in which our students are tasked with identifying uh, possible uh, loss prevention risks. Let's just take a look at how it works. So I'm presented with a scene, and as the student, I'm tasked with looking for items that are out of place and may cause a risk uh, to a loss to product. And you can see as I'm identifying potential risks, I've got a little counter over here on the left-hand side that uh, counts up the number of risks that I've found. Uh, and at some point, I might want to send my score uh, as a student off to an LMS. Authors in Zebra's apps using the LMS object wire scores uh, and pass data back and forth from an LMS by wiring, just like every other object in Zebra's apps. We'll open up the publish dropdown here at the top of the editor and show our LMS options. Now we get the LMS object here now at the very top of our editor and it has ins, properties, and outs just like every other object. Let's take a look at what the values are. From our LMS we can pull in the user ID, first name, middle name, and last name, and write that to a text object. That's by clicking and dragging to create a wire, and then we could bind this to the value of text anywhere on the screen. Below that, we have the current score. We can read and write that as a number or percentage. The current percentage of the score, uh, using the min and max that an author might set up. Below that, we have a, a nudge amount, the current status, like completion or incomplete, and location. Under the ins, we can send the current values. We can also nudge the score up or nudge the score down, uh, just like you would on a slider. Under outs, we can find out whether or not uh, the send of information back and forth from an LMS uh, was successful or not. So in this course, uh, I've got a slider percentage here uh, from my interaction that I want to write to the LMS. Very simple. In this case, my interaction is a gadget, but it could be from anything. Here I've got the score percentage uh, as represented by this slider. So my slider has a value of 0 uh, to start with and an end value of 7. And I'm using the slider percentage uh, to pass through as my gadget for score. So I'm actually going to get a percentage. So to work with the LMS object, all I have to do is grab this value, bring it up and hover over, and attach it to the current score. And we'll send this as a percentage. Any out from any object can be used to uh, read and write the score from an LMS. Here I've created a button and we're simply going to link the out of button pressed to the LMS object to ins and send values. It's as simple as that. Now let's take a look at how we might publish and package for an LMS. I'm going to go ahead and save it now with my send score button on the screen and open up the publish panel to zap this project. Just like any other zap that you might have shared on Facebook, you need to create an icon and enter in a description. We'll just call this LMS test and zap the project. Once you've zapped your project, you now have the opportunity to select a privacy level. And here we're looking at the uh, preview screen for the professional level of Zebra Zaps. I can choose this middle selection, don't show my zap in the zap shop, and still have access to create uh, an LMS object. I'm going to go ahead and hit share. This brings up the share panel, 
inside here, clicking the LMS icon, gives me the opportunity to create a SCORM package. I'm going to hit Package for LMS. And it's opened up a new window, and I'm using Google Chrome, so uh, my zip file is here ready to use at the very bottom of my browser window. And that's it. You can now take this SCORM package and uh, upload it to any LMS.